Que pasa? It's the only ninja wearing aviators and a Superman hat bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja YouTube channel. This time we are using a single stick and going over a bat combination for you guys. All right guys, so let's get started. I know my dog's in the background again for this video, but whatever, she's pretty cool. So <laughs> she starts rolling again when I start talking. But anyway, whatever, we're gonna go in. <laughs> we're gonna go regardless. So what we're gonna start off with is our stick in our right hand. Like always, you can do this either side, but for this video, we're gonna stick with our right hand because most people are right-handed. So. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a fighting stance with our left hand forward, our left foot forward, and our stick by our face in our guard position. Now, first you're gonna do is a strike with our fingers up towards the temple, going right there, in case you don't know where the temple is. Uh, you're gonna go and strike, bang, that temple area just like that, pulling all the way through. Now, you're gonna turn your fingers upside down, and instead of striking the other temple, like I think in one of the last stick videos we did, you're going to go for the knee. Go for the inside of their left knee. So right, their left temple and then the inside of their left knee. So it's gonna go one and two. From there, you're gonna to want to shift your weight on that second strike to your back leg, to your right leg. So you can use your left leg to get a groin kick in. Now, guys, here's the thing about kicks to the groin, you may not think it's fair, but I say to you, anytime you're in a fight, the person with the most rules loses. And so if you wanna win, if you wanna come out of your fight surviving, cause you know, things go down in real life, then don't put your, don't limit yourself to, oh, honor and gro no groin kicks and stuff like that. No, if it works, it works and you use it. So with that said, <clears throat> one more time, strike to the head, inside of the knee rocking back on your back leg you're going to do a groin kick with the top of your foot not your toes you're gonna to hit with the top of your foot or your shin bang just like that then you're going to double handed your double hand your bat and you're going to swing across the head now guys this is very dangerous so be careful if you have to do this in real life make sure it's a life or death situation because this kid why was she whatever because this could very easily maim someone for life or even possibly kill them. So, one more time. What? What? So, what we're going to do is we're going to go our strike one, strike two, kick, and finish. Again, don't forget to always have one of your sticks back in your guard. So when you're just in your stance, don't put your stick down by your hips or anything like that because that's not helpful. Have it up by your face, have it up protecting you so that you can stay safe in your combat because a lot of times a simple mistake or a simple for uh, miss sight, I guess, not seeing things correctly, a simple mistake could cause you to get hit and cause you to end up losing the fight so make sure always be prepared always be on guard with all that said i hope you like this combination if you want to see more combinations like this or with another weapon or something else you guys let me know down in the comments but until next time don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out